So this is for all my first violins for Hoda at the Holidays. The first two lines are rhythmically challenging. Um, if we're thinking about the rhythm and the tie really throws us off, please just play it without the tie to start. So you'd have one, two, and three, and four. So that when you yell, put the tie back in, you can kind of hear the B twice. So you're making sure it carries over for those two half beats, right? So the rhythm, if I were to count it out, would be one, two, and, and four. Because the tie is putting together the and of two in the beginning of beat three, right? One, two, and, and four. In my next measure, I have a rest on the first half of the beat. So I have and, and three, four. Or if you want to say all the syllables, and two, and three, four, okay? But and, and three, four might be a little bit better. So in the beginning you have one, two, and, and four, and, and three, four. One, two, and, and four, and, and three, four. And that should help you with the rhythm. So if we can play that, just be careful in measure two, you have F natural. In measure four you have B flat, okay? Low one and low two. Here we go from measure one, two, Ready, and one, and, and four, rest. Low one. If you didn't quite get that rhythm, you might want to play it on an open string. Until you really feel like you know it, you can clap it, you can say it out loud however you want, but just make sure that when you put the notes back in, it's the correct rhythm. Now, measure five, this is deck the halls. So we know this one, two, and three, four. Starting on D, going to a C natural. Ready, and. F natural, E, D, and C. And then you go to a B, and this is where we're sliding along. The violas have that. the cellos to make it seem like a horse kind of trotting along um, in the west, right? So here, now you're sliding into third position. Two, two, slide to third position. And notice that your thumb, right, you should have a thumb square here and here to help guide you in that shift. But just like we practice with our harmonics, you have to come around the violin. There's no stopping dead right here, okay? You don't want to hit the body of the violin, you want to come up and around. So that when you get to higher notes, you can stretch. But your thumb has to come with you. So when I'm shifting and I have B, two, three, my thumb is coming with me as I glide. Okay, and I'm using my ears to detect that pitch. So what I'm hearing is B, D, yes? Okay, so when I hear that, I'm going to try to audiate that or hear it in my head before I even get there. B, D. And then I'm going to stay in third position and play E with third finger on the G string, then D with second finger. Then I'd go back to first position because they want you to shift again. So you have one, two, three, one, and then shift to one. Yeah, so make sure that you probably have marked in your music already by me the Roman numeral three for third position or one for first position. Make sure that we're following that, okay? So you, again, for measure nine, mm -hmm. have second finger ready, and two, three, shift, then three, two, then one, two, three, shift, two, three, lift, first position, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, one, shift, two, three, Two, one, because you're in third position still. Then three on D string, ready, and two, three, one on A in third position. One on E third position. Two, three, back to first. Two, three, one, two, two, three. Okay, now you can also play 18 into 19 in second position. And if that's the case, you're going to go one to one and a half step. So now you're going to go from first to first, right? But going just a half a step. Two, three. And then second finger is going to go where third finger normally is on A string. 
and then back to first position. It's okay if you don't do second position. Um, you can just do first position there. You can just play two, three, two, three. We don't necessarily need the slide there, okay? At 21, you have fourth finger first position. Ready, and two, three. G natural. Two, three, four, three, one, two, three. Go right to third position, first finger. And now you're just going to slide into two with second finger. Since they're a whole step apart, you have a whole step to slide. Two, three, then fourth finger, third finger, second finger, first finger, two, one, back to first position, B flat, and then you're going to glide into first finger, B natural, like that, yeah. So start on 28, ready, and then three, two, three, two, three, to third finger, third position on the E string. Yeah, can we try 29? Ready, and one, two, three, shift, then back to first, three, one, two, two, three, four, shift, all the way up to that B. Yeah, it's a long shift. And just make sure that you get to the note. And then go back to first position, ready, and G, D, B, D, C natural. So 29, two, three, two. Just be careful because that's a lot of shifting on the E string where you really have to listen to make sure you get there, okay? Good. The next page is more rhythmic than it is dealing with third position. So if you look at the top of the next page, you have one, two, and, and four but then you have a different rhythm the second measure, and two, and three, and four. So you have. And make sure it's a half step, right, not, okay, yeah, no high two. And then at 43, you have one, and a two, and a three, and a four, but you're not dividing that. That's gonna be open D, oh, sorry, open E and open A, open D and open A, and open G and open D. Yeah, I would stay towards the lower half of the bow. And then you have playing on the off beats. One, and two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay. A, F, D, E, and then you go back to. Rest, rest. Sorry, couldn't say it in my head apparently, but you have rest, B, rest, B, rest. And that's a C sharp. And then you're playing on the off beats to Joy to the World. At 47, you have a rest, 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 rest. Okay, so D, C, A, B, D, A, C, C. And it's C sharp because we're in the key of D major, right? Okay, good. Then at 49, you have a rest, 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 rest. And you have this creative, uh, rhythmic version of Joy to the World. Um. All of that is really complicated. If I were you, I would write an accounting, right? Um, I would clap it, okay? Um, if you're thinking about the 16th notes at 52, so if you're originally counting 8th notes, you have 1 and 2 and, and if you're thinking the first 16th, if it were 4 16ths, it would be 3 E and a, right? But you just are now silent on the 3, so you have E, a, 4 and. So it's 1 and 2 and, E, a, 4 and, 1 and 2 and, E, a, 4 and. 1 and 2 and E a 4 and 1 and 2 and E a 4 and And then you have 1 and 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 4 and 1 and 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 4 and a Yeah, 4 and a and then you have 1 1 and 
two and three, a four and one and two and three, a four and. You really have to be able to say these rhythms out loud and count them, write them in your part, okay? Because you have all these um, syllables and sixteenths that are embedded in there that you have to make sure you know exactly where beats one, two, and three, ha three and four happen. Um, sometimes you'll see slashes marked to figure out the beats in each measure, the big beats, so beat one, beat two. Because oftentimes if you look at a measure like 56, okay, you can see the beginning of beat one is on that eighth, but where is the rest or where's the beginning of beat two? The beginning of beat two is actually within that second half of the quarter note. So it gets very confusing and you have to make sure you can say your rhythms or else you certainly can't play them. Going on at 57, you have one and two E and three and a four and one and two E and three and a four and. It's a little playoff of um, hoedown, yeah, from Rodeo. And then you have one E and a two and three and four E and a one and. So at 57, you have. So this is again, one E, a two, and three E, a four, and one E, a two, and three E, a four, and one and two, and three and four, and one and two, and three and four, and with those accents makes it even more rhythmic. So you have one and two, and three and four, and one and two, and three and four. of joy to the world there and then and four so if I were you I would really spend some time counting my rests and maybe even playing them on an open string if you're not confident about them but definitely clapping them counting them out loud and maybe playing them on an open string before you play them with the notes okay all right good luck <laughs>